Welcome to question time. Member for Fairfield. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Corrections. Yeah. It's question time, perhaps. Given that the majority of the state's courts close over Christmas and January, what additional steps will you take to manage the inevitable spike in the number of bail refused prisoners and defendants awaiting trial during this period? Minister has to call, he doesn't need anybody else's help. It's a lot of the opposition thinks that he's going to save his leadership into the next year by uh, having uh, a corrections officer in our very professional Order. judicial system. Um, I have got very bad news for him. The Premier has identified Maruba is counting, he's on the march, and the opposition leader seems to think that, uh, like, uh, like the French resistance, he has to hide uh, around a chair, making up. Uh, Making up disparaging remarks and rumours. But after it's good that finally he's brought himself into this chamber Member and wanted to debate me over the a matter. Point of order. Member for the Minister will resume his seat. Member for Kira. Yeah. Yes. I, I know he's waiting for a better note. But no, no, I'm do you have a point of order? Instead of an argument or a debate, I'm not going to allow a point of order if you get up to the microphone and have a little debate before you even start to raise a point of order. And don't pull a face. It's just moping. Don't you know? As the member, the well knows, as the member for Fairfield well knows, uh, that just because we have an efficient police force making arrests, just because we have a tough bail act making sure the troublemakers are kept off the streets, we will always have cells available. We will always have cells available for the former members of the Labor caucus who we are expecting, and I've got the welcome mat out for, and of course our jails wouldn't be so full if we didn't have all these repeat drink drivers in, um, in, uh, in our cells. But, Mr. Madam Speaker, let me just remind the House, despite all of the scaremongering from those opposite hoping to write themselves into the script of um, 2015, we have a record spend of $1.2 billion. $1.2 billion. Over the next four years, Madam Speaker, we are going to be opening a new 600-bed correctional facility in Grafton. Member for Fairfield rises on a point of order. Uh, Madam Speaker, my uh, point of order is Standing Order 129. Um, Minister's the question been relevant, is about no point the order. Christmas and January. Minister's been relevant, no point of order, which means sit down. Thank you, Minister. Has the and call. while members of the Labor caucus will be going on their six-week vacation that they take twice a year, members of our judicial system will be working, order. unlike members opposite. They will be working. Be and as I refer to my previous answer, Madam Speaker, we are not only are waiting for these new um, multi-bed facilities in Park Lee and in Grafton, but we have already opened Kirkconnell. We have already opened, reopened Kirkconnell Order. and Carry On. We are releasing more cells right around the correctional establishments across New Order. South Wales. Member for Fairfield. There will be twenty million dollars to complete an eleven hundred bed up expansion program, which includes nine hundred and fifty beds at various prisons, and the construction, Madam Speaker, of one hundred and sixty modular beds, which were approved in the last financial year. Eighty three million dollars to assist in the management of additional prisoners. Nearly one million dollars for three new inmate transport trucks to meet the increased demand. In inmate movements to and from courts, and Madam Speaker, another $5.52 million over the four years to implement social impact investment projects to reduce re offending. We have a number of plans, we have a structure, we are dealing with this issue, but every time the Labor caucus, every time the opposition gets up and criticises our law and order policy, Madam Speaker, what they are saying is that we should be soft on crime. What they are asking for us is to remove dangerous people from the judicial system, from our prisons. What they are actually saying is that their mates, the ones that are in Long Bay and Park Lee, should be let out. It's a disgrace for them to stand up here and seem to think that this government has got something to apologise for because criminals are in jail. 
So that I can hear it. Member for Fairfield. Madam Speaker, yes. is the one two nine relevant? The question Minister has been entirely relevant. Zero. Resume your seat. The, the Minister has been relevant. He may not be answering the question to your satisfaction, but he has been relevant. That's all I can Senate. ask him to do. I'm delighted to see the member Thank for Fairfield the part of the debate because when the Leader of the Opposition realised that this was an issue the government was addressing, he tried to write him out of the script because apparently he's no longer going to be voting for him at the next Labor caucus ballot. Which is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that to the Leader of the Opposition. The member for Fairfield has obviously decided to change sides. But while they're playing games, Madam Speaker, this government is addressing the concerns and we make no apology for being tough on crime.